Hey, Kevin, you making a double-barreled shotgun? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Um, questions I get every now and again, you know, hey, I just welded this piece of metal together and it warped. What did I do wrong? Well, you're welding. So you're welding, metal's gonna move, metal's gonna warp. You know, that's, that's just a fact of life when you're melting two pieces of metal together is they're gonna wanna move. So you can put something on the bench, just lay something on the bench and put a piece on top of it and try to weld around it, put your hand on it and boy, you can feel that thing move and just all different kinds of directions as you're welding that thing. So there's a whole science behind well, you, you put something up there and you lean it just a little bit one way because you know when you weld it, it's going to pull itself back again. But of course, there's some easier solutions to problems like this, different things you can try. Now, one of them, it just clamps. Big, heavy, monster clamps. Go into the top of a one-inch table. You know, of course, now you guys may not have a one-inch table. Way to get around that, clamp it, but you might also even tack it. Just weld it right to your table. That'll help keep things down, help keep them from moving. But what I've got set up right here, this is just some, some mild steel, eighth inch thick. Uh, cleaned up all the mill scale off of it you know, on both sides, top and bottom, and even in the middle. And I put some one inch, uh, about an eighth inch wall, I think it is, one inch square tubes on top of it, clamp it down that way get as close as I possibly can to my joint, but I can still come in here and get my torch in there and run a bead through there. And I thought, let's just try it. I'll run a bead through, I'll, I'll tack it on both ends, run a bead down the middle of it, we'll pop the clamps loose and see how well we did. So running an Everlast Power Chig 255 EXT. Got uh, 124 amps on the, on the dial over there. Got a E3 eighth inch tungsten piece of 16 gauge filler wire. Got the gas on, got my helmet. Let's get to work. So what do you think? You taking bets? So that turned out pretty good, actually. There's one little trick for you to try to keep things from warping. You know, if you can, get your clamps as close as you can. Get a piece of metal on there, something big, something heavy. Leave enough room to get in there to weld it. But run the whole length of your, of your weld if you can. Get everything clamped down. Even if you've got to go clean across your bench, get something like a piece of solid stock even, you know, a piece of one inch square or something like that that you can put on both sides of it, clamp it down on both sides of your bench. That way everything's held down as firm as you possibly can. So I hope that points you in the right direction. Um, I'm gonna point you right down towards that subscribe button right now. Go ahead and give that a click for me. And I'm gonna clean this up and get myself back to work. We'll see you next time. So welded it back on the other side, same settings on the machine. Succeeded in making it go the other way. <laughs> I need a drink. Is this whole video an outtake? <laughs> this whole video is basically an outtake, yes.